Hey all, BC9 for XYZ. We haven't even reached the surface here. And we are still trying to find... I mean, if you look, we have... Literally traveled about as far as we possibly can. We have so much to discover. So much more to discover. We haven't even reached the surface of oblivion yet. And I can only hope that it's coming soon, because... I want to see Oblivion. I am really, really excited um, to see Oblivion. Come with us. Damn it! It's that prisoner again! Kill him! He might be working with the assassins. No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. The Nine guide and protect us. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. All right. The Apprentice, I guess this is where we choose abilities. The Apprentice ability confers a 100 point bonus to the Magicka trivia. I'm, that's not me. The Lady Blessing confers bonuses of 10 points to your willpower and endurance. That might be one. The Mage, 50 points of Magicka. The Thief gives you the ability of speed, luck, and agility. With the Atronach ability, you don't regain Magicka over time. Instead, you have 50%. Okay, no. Being born under the Lord gives you the blood of the North, lesser power to regenerate up to 90 points of health. You have a 25% weakness to fire, no. You use the lover's kiss once a day to paralyze an opponent for 10 seconds. Those both under the ritual use the mark and gift of power to restore health spell. The blessed word can turn the undead. I like that one so far, the ritual. 100 points of fatigue. Become Once a day you can become invisible for 60 seconds. That doesn't sound appealing to me. The steed ability grants a bonus of 20 to your speed. The warrior ability gives you a great bonus of 10 points of strength and endurance. Oh, I like that one. We're going to go with that one. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death... A necessary end will come when it will come. What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the warrior shall prove a stalwart companion when fortune fades. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies oh, of my be. triumphs precede me. But I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. The blades. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, they 
things are not going according to plan. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Stick close, Stick close and let us do our job. Not much farther. So good. What? The Emperor's you know what I'm going to do quickly? I'm going to make this a little bit more difficult because this is not hard at all. Danger! Oh shit. Take that Trigger. down! The Emperor needs help! This one's mine! Oops. You're End lucky I like sight. Otherwise, you'd be dead already. We're going to do this. Delete this. Overwrite that. Now let's continue. All right, I'm enjoying the game so far, but I want to get to Oblivion. <laughs> Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. It's a dead end. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. For the Emperor! Emperor. Over here. Oh, I'm supposed to be I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him, and close shut the jaws of oblivion. Oblivion take you! What? heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. The emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? He told me to take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. 
Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City, or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced monk. Am I right? All right. You now must choose your class. The major skills of your class will start higher than your other skills. You will increase your level by raising these major skills. All right. So... We have a lot of stealth. We have favorite, favorite abilities. Our agility and willpower. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to be a mage. Yes. Knight. Absolutely. Well, hmm. let's take a look at some of the other ones. Healer. No. Crusader, I like that one though, because of restoration. Let's go with the Crusader. I actually like that one. Really? I would never have guessed. Still, I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. After the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. What about you? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. Quest added. And we have a quest marker down there now. Down into the sewers. This is going to be disgusting. A doon doon doon. This game is extremely dark so far. I need to do that, but whatever. Where's the rat? There he is. Finally, some light. Nice glitch. All right. We're good. Let's go to City Isle. And I'm excited because this is our first adventure out into the world.
Escape from the Imperial Sewers. All right, the red arrow on your compass shows to the direction of the Wayne Priory. You can walk there by following your compass or use the world map to travel there directly. You can set off in any direction by exploring the world of your own. Good luck. Wow, here we are. We are here in City Isle. Look at this. Now, see, the thing is, if we were in this, if this was the launch of the current generation, we would be, um, what do you call it? We would be amazed. Now, obviously, this looks absolutely like crap compared to Skyrim or this generation, but, oh my god, I'm telling you. Bethesda did do a good job if this was, like, Current gen graphics, this would look great. I even found a place already. I mean, the world is beautiful already, I can tell, you know? Oh boy, already. That was so easy. What do I have? We don't need anything of his. Which, by the way, get rid of this and this. Rest for an hour. And I just got my hand to hand increased. All right, so far, so good. Ah, that's the local map, and this is clearly the, the huge world map. Wow. Oh, this is interesting. They allow you to fast travel there immediately. Okay, then. Let's go there, then, right? Why not? Perfect. I've arrived, now I need to take the amulet to Jafur. Yeah, no shit. I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory house. Okay. Goodbye. Seems that this is the way to go. Let's head in. 
You know, it's interesting. This game, even with my 360, with all the time that it's taken, it's kind of choppy. Yes? Can I help you? I must speak to Joffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. Okay. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Pine, and this is Wayne and Briary, a monastery. Can I help you? First, the voice volume needs to go up. The music volume needs to go down even further. Okay. Oh, yes. He'll be in the Priory House somewhere. Okay. Good day. Might be over here. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought you the Amulet of the Kings. Well, this cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the Amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. How could Oblivion threaten us? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the Amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. We're going to find Uriel's son. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvat, south of here. You must go to Kvat and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Okay. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Okay. I can read this. I can't steal it, can I? Yeah, I'm not going to steal it. Believe me, I don't have any d desire to steal it. Um, all right, let's see here. So weapons, we have we have a rusty arrow. He has a steel bow. We're gonna take that rusty arrow. Um, I'm going to take the steel arrows. I'm gonna keep the iron arrows too, just in case. But he, yeah, I'm gonna take the steel claymore then. I'm going to give him the short sword. Uh, I'm going to keep that war axe, too. And... Right, I'm starting to get... I'm starting to get the feel of this game now. It's a two-handed weapon, but that's okay. I barely use a shield anyway, to be honest. Matter of fact, I might actually just sell that. So far, so good.
Kavak. Is there anything else I can get from you before we leave? Your first priority now. One of the youngest blade. The coronation of each new emperor. See if we can get any more quests from him. Yes. Nope. Yeah, well. Waste no time. All right, we're going to stop it here, guys. It's, so far, I am really enjoying this game. This is surprisingly good. Um, until next time, I will see you guys when we return. This is BCNet for XYZ. Thank you so much for watching.